Okay, everyone, so I'm going to try to make this short and quick for you. This is an 06 Can-Am or Bombardier Outlander 800. We're having issues with the cooling fan not coming on. So there's a few different ways that we can test what's going on here. And I'll just try to make it short and quick for you. Need a half inch or 13 millimeter socket to get all these different bolts out right here for the radiator guard there. And there's also a wiring harness right here that goes down to the bottom side and it'll plug into a plug right here by this coolant reservoir and yeah once you get that unplugged you can take this right here and kind of just pull it back out of the way there and then we'll be getting into this right here this panel covers up the fuse block for it just pull that up now we've got this cover right here to get off of there so once you got the cover off looking in the fuse block the f2 pin right there that 20 amp fuse would be the fuse for the coolant circuit and then we've got on the top left right here a relay for the coolant circuit and yeah First thing I would do after checking that the fuse is still good is to come and at this plug right here, you just send 12 volts into it. You can do that with some wires coming from the battery back there or use a trickle charger like I did just to verify that your cooling fan is working or not and go from there. But uh, next thing that we could do uh, is come over here. We'll have to take the side panel off of the bike there and there will be a coolant temperature sending unit right here. This is an ohm resistance based coolant temperature sending unit. And it starts out like above a thousand ohms of resistance as the bike warms up, gets hotter. The resistance gets lower and sends a signal to the ECM that sends power to the relay and powers the fan. So what we can do is just disconnect this. You'll have to make sure that this plug is plugged back in down there and just start the bike up. After about 15 seconds, it will throw a fault code and that will trigger the relay to power the fan and turn the fan on. So if the fan does come on, that means your relay is good. If it doesn't come on, that means your relay is bad. And if it doesn't come on, uh, or sorry, if it does come on, then it's more than likely your temperature sending unit is bad and then you'll just wanna replace it. I did go ahead and pick up a relay at O'Reilly's. This is the relay that I got. Um, Threw the relay in there. I have the fan plugged in at the connector there. So this temperature sending unit is unplugged. We're just gonna start the bike up, let it idle for a minute, and the fault code should pop up here on the dash, and then we should hear the cooling fan kick on there. Next thing I'm going to do is just plug this right back in. I'll let this thing idle for a while, make sure the fan kicks on from the temperature sending unit, sending the signal to the ECM, to the relay, and then to the fan. All right, well, this fan is super loud. Let me turn this off. I'm trying to get some of this carbon monoxide out of here. I had to let this thing run forever to get up the temperature, but uh, got a new sending unit there and she is finally kicking the fan off. It's gonna take a minute now, I'll let it cool down a little bit. All right, had to let it idle for a minute, but she did kick on. Sending unit did end up being bad on this thing as well as the relay, so kind of unfortunate there, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you all watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. I'll try to get back with you. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you think I've earned your subscription today, go ahead and tap on the sub button down there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.